So I started reading some things about Antarctica. I know that that's another like big topic of conversation for people. And I found these interesting articles about these random mysterious particles that were rising from the ice and nobody knew what they were. So I'd saved a bunch of those links, thought everything was super fascinating and kind of went along with maybe what I believed was going on. And then about a week and a half later, Space Force posted something about the cold conditions of Antarctica and Cubits. And I retweeted and said, oh, this is very interesting. This is exactly what I was talking about. So I had forgotten about that I had retweeted that post. And the next day, one of my followers commented on it. So I went to get them the links. And 24 hours prior, right when space, right after Space Force posted that, they did a complete sweep of Google. And all of those links that I had found about all of that information was gone. And in the last 24 hours, about 15 articles had been placed saying that they were just these methane leaks and it's nothing for anybody to worry about or be concerned about or be interested in. So where do you stand with the entire Antarctica quantum? Uh, I stand that Antarctica is a fascinating place for many reasons. Um, one of which, just if you look up at the sky, it goes like this. Instead of the stars going across the sky, they just spin in place. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other thing, obviously, it's been under ice for a long time. So as the continents have drifted, that's preserved a lot of very uh, interesting geological and archaeological and paleont paleontological forgive me if that's not the right word but <laughs> a lot of going. awesome scientific stuff as well as uh, it's at the bottom of the earth's magnetic field so I can't get into the exact specifics right now mm -hmm. but um, there's a lot of interesting things that happen in Antarctica that don't happen elsewhere that will be uh, studying and making public in the near future